Let's build a binary clock using the PIC processor. To do that, I want to have a count on port C with one count every second. To start with, go to Bison Academy and click on, in this case, blink.asm. What that should look like is the following. This is similar to our previous programs. It calls the subroutine initialize, waits, and then increments. The initialization routine just makes all ports output and starting from zero. I will then call the wait routine. The wait routine, this kills about one clock or one second. One second is 10 million clocks. To do that, I've got three loops. This inner loop has 10 clocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine instructions inside this loop, plus one per go to. So this kills 10 clocks or one microsecond. Each of these instructions is executed 100 times 100 times 100 a million times. Uh, the way that works is I start with counter 0 equal to 100. It decrements down to 99, 98, 97. When it gets to 0, it skips out, decrements the next counter, and so on. So here I have nested loops. Uh, the reason I do that is the process we're using is an 8-bit processor. The biggest number I can write to a counter is 255. Uh, so likewise, I can't say move 10 million to a counter in decrement. What I can do, though, is do 100 times 100 times 100, keep multiplied by 100, eventually get a big number. This clock, this loop should take roughly 10 million clocks. It's actually a little bit more. This, these 10 clocks are each executed a million times, giving you 10 million clocks for these instructions. This outer loop is executed 100 times 100 times. This outer loop here is executed 100 times. This is one time. So the total number of clocks is actually a little bit more than 10 million. To compile this code, we'll copy that, go over M to MPLAB, to file new, and save it as blink.asm. Go over here, and add blink.asm. And make sure everything's in decimal. The program doesn't work if you have a hex decimal because it thinks 100 is actually 100 hex, not 100 decimal. So go under Build Options, Project, and make sure we're in decimal. And we are, so that's good. Compile. Dope. All right. So click on the error. And counter 2 wasn't defined. We'll just stick that at memory location 3. Try again. Still failed. Zero, 01, 2. So if I can count the 2 correctly, there it is. I can now download that code using Harper Terminal. I'll hit the reset button. Enter, send the hex file, for all hex files, and this was blink.hex. There's your program. If you look over at the processor then, it's counting in port C roughly once per second. If you check, it's actually a little bit longer than one second per count because uh, it's 10 million clocks plus a little bit for the overhead. If you enable the code, you can get that 10, 10 million right on the nose. That's one of the beauties of assembly. You can count the number of instructions the code takes, you know exactly how long the code takes.